Hey guys, so a bit of an update on the environment. Before I had my floor and I had the roughness and the normal alpha, but I just, you know, when I was testing it, everything was just laid out. And then I had the, I didn't use the ID before, diffuse and AO, and the AO could have been in the diffuse alpha, but once again, was just testing it. So anyways, I was thinking if I have this, and then I want to use this rubber on this, this chair would have to have its own set of maps too, so how could I optimize the scene a bit? And I ran into Unreal Engine's material masking, so what I started is I have a few substances and substance designer that I created. Just waiting for it to open. Alright, so here's my rubber material. And the nice thing about Substance Designer is if I decide like I don't want these shoe prints, I can always remove them um, or lower them, adjust them however, uh, however I need to for the final output. So here's the rubber. And here's the marble. So what I did is I saved out these maps as 1024 so I could have a decently high resolution um, because although I want to save space at the same time I want everything to look good. So a bit of a compromise between the two. So I have these saved out. I have the diffuse saved and then I have the normal and roughness, and then I put the roughness into either the alpha channel of the diffuse or the normal. And so what I can do with Unreal Engine 4 now is I have a function for the black rubber, or a material function for the black rubber and a material function for the white marble. So if we go into the white marble, uh, what I've done is I have the texture sample, so in this case it's the diffuse with the roughness and the alpha. I use a texture object to pump into the texture slot of the texture sample, because um, for some reason it wasn't working without it. And then I have a multiply, um, and basically with material functions, the output result, it'll only give an output input, um, out, it'll only give an output node unless you have an input um, what's it called? A function input. You need a function input for the, um, in order to be able to like plug, let's say you want tiling, so you want to change the amount of tiling, you need an input. So I use the function input, um, and I change that to a vector too. And then I use just one one, just because I, I just want standard values, and then I use a texture coordinate. Once again, 1, 1. I turned off unmirror u and unmirror v. That was giving me some problems. And then I multiplied those two together. Here it plugged it into the UVs for the normal and diffuse slash roughness. I uh, used a make material attributes node right there. And then plugged that into the output result. So I have that. Um, probably shouldn't have clicked save, but it's fine. So now I have that and I have the same thing for the black rubber. Now let's take a look at the actual floor material. So what I did is I have the function black rubber and the function white marble input um, or added onto the graph. If that, uh, if, that if that input wasn't added, then this wouldn't be there and then we couldn't tile the materials. And for this, I needed a tile of materials just to get a little bit more extra detail in there. So I have a um, just a regular uh, vector two, and uh, so I wanted to tile by two on um, both the U and the V. So plugged it into both of those. And then I used a matte layer blend standard, and here's the color ID of the floor. And this is a 256 by 256 texture, so it's pretty lightweight. And um, I was able to get it that small since it's not too complicated. I think in the future, or with future props, if 
in the scene if they're a little more complicated and has like more intricate color masks I might need to step up the resolution a bit anyways uh, so I have a matte layer material layer blend standard which is right here drag that in use the green channel as the alpha and then oops, and then in order to get that normal detail of the ground I used a material layer blend baked normal plugged in the texture sample and so what I had to do for this uh, for normal maps in order to plug in a roughness in the alpha slot the the normal has to be uh, filter def or TC default compression instead of TC normal map and then click re-import so when that was done I went to the f uh, let me open that back up alright so what I had to do then is multiply the A by 2 and I'm not really sure what this does I saw this um, online let me see if I can pull it up right here from Oliver M dot dash 8 dot blogspot dot com in in so I just copied this and so now the normal works as it should and now I have this uh, this AO should actually be the alpha of the normal. It's in there, I just haven't connected it up yet. And then I used a matte layer blend, material layer blend tint in order to get those really dark lines in there. And then connected it to the material and usually the material has all those inputs like diffuse, normal, specular, etc. But if you check use material attributes you can just have the one input. And so the result is pretty pretty nice. Um, obviously, I can't do, or I'm sure I can, but I don't know how. Like, do cavity mapping so I could have like some wear on the end of, edges of here. Um, maybe that could be in the color mask with a dirt or something as another material. I'm not really sure yet. But it was nice to figure this out, and hopefully this will be useful in saving space in the rest of the scene.